hello guys this is iOS Nemesis and welcome to another video on how to fix some errors you guys are having when using program this and um, uh, a note here most of you have been asking me is program this free or is it paid or whatever program this is free it is even on even on our website it says free so you can register your device for free so there's no need to pay anything to anyone to use program this and it is the easiest to ever on a windows machine to bypass icloud it's, it's very very easy so with, with just few clicks you can bypass your device under 10 minutes you can do, you can bypass any device under 10 minutes using program this so let's go through some of the errors you guys are having so most of the errors you guys are having is booting unsuccessful couldn't connect to ssh so this error is when you're using um when you're, when you're using a bad driver okay so there are two drivers um, the, we have the Apple mobile device USB device driver and we have the Apple mobile device USB driver so I'll show you the drivers quickly yeah so this is a bad driver when you're using this when you're using this driver to boot your device you will always get booting unsuccessful so you have to use this driver the one that is highlighted here the one that is highlighted here so whenever you're going to boot your device make sure that you open device manager and then your driver is like this apple mobile device usb driver so if it is not usb driver and it is usb device you have to update it i'll leave a link in the description on how to fix this or how to update it if you don't know don't worry there will be a link in the description on how to fix this issue so after that when you boot you should get booting successful when you you should be able to connect to ssh so let's go to the next error you guys are having no ram disk found for this device okay so this this occurs when people put ram disk files in the ram disk folder wrongly some of you guys extract the ram disk file no need to extract the ram disk file don't do not extract it just put it inside the ram disk folder like how you downloaded it so let me show you the download uh, the ram disk folder very quickly so this is the ram disk folder when you open the tool you see you see the the folder everything like this so go to the ram disk folder and go to ios if you if you download ios 15 ram disk put it here just put it here like how you downloaded it if it is on ios 16 just put the ram disk file here like you downloaded it do not extract it and you can click here to download the ram uh, the ram disk files on mega so this is where you download your, your ram disk files please do not extract it just leave it like that when you download the ram disk files put it inside the ram disk folder without extracting it and then you'll be good to go you're not going to have this no ram disk found again okay so let, let it load quickly and i'll show you how to download it so just go to data and ram disk files we have we have four folders here we have the ios 12 we have ios 15 alternative ios 15 recommended and ios 16 so if you're using ios 15 or your device is on ios 15 make sure you download from the recommended first make sure you download from the recommended first because it works for all devices almost all devices the, uh, the the alternative doesn't work for all devices sometimes fails so i recommend you download from here you download from the recommended so if you're using the recommended and you get an issue i'll show you the issue i'll show you the issue then you can come into the alternative and download from here so for the ios 16 you only have one folder so you have to download from here So 
process really i have system you have to download from here we only have one folder okay so another error you guys are having is fail to install exploit so personally i've been having issues using gasta on windows okay it always fails to pwn my device it doesn't it doesn't work it, it fails to pwn my device so you have to use a usb stick and make a bootable then pwn your device i'll leave a link in the description on how to do that so don't if your your, uh, your device fails to pwn on windows just keep trying like three to five times if it doesn't work then you have to use another method to put your device in pwn dfu mode and please don't use ip wonder to put your device in pwn dfu mode because if you use that you're going to get booting issues even if you're using the correct drivers you're not going to get booting successful so let's move to the next error so no device detected so uh, I'll quickly show you something here whenever you you launch the tool you're going to see something like this please connect your device in pwn dfu mode please read what is here before you connect your device if the device is reading if you see here in dfu mode pwn dfu mode it means the software is looking for a device in dfu mode so let me connect a device in hello mode or a device in normal mode if I connect a device in normal mode and I click on check device it's not going to work because my device is in normal mode okay so I have to put it in DFU mode so maybe I'm going to do I'm going to perform an action that needs a device in hello mode you see this quickly changes to hello mode instead of on DFU mode so from this when you click on check device you should get your device checked and every info on your device should be here so that is how it works make sure you read what is here what is what is there like from dfu mode or normal mode so that will determine where or which mode you should put your device okay so every option here that uh, every option here has a different mode that it needs the phone to be so for example the checkering the checkering doesn't need to be in any normal any mode but iCloud bypass you have to put your device in normal mode um generate activation files should be in normal mode and a uh, hello pelerin should be in normal mode remove apply id should be in normal mode generate uh, find my iphone should be in normal mode if none of these options is selected then the device would automatically be waiting for a device in pwn dfu mode okay so that is it um <clears throat> let's let's go to another error so back up error so this happens when you know it, when there's there's an error mounting file system so if your your file system cannot be mounted that means the bypass will not be successful so that is why i said that you you have to use the recommended the recommend the recommended here download from the recommended first if it doesn't work use the alternative so if you get either a backup error or backup error file system not mounted or if you get or if you get an error which i'll show you later here then you have to download a different ram disk from the different folder if you use the alternative first make sure you use the recommended and vice versa so let's go to the next error the next error is an established connection was aborted by the server so the same problem here so if you download from the alternative and then you get this error make sure you download from the recommended and vice versa so this is a simple fix you don't have to scratch your head about this all you have to do is change around this and if it doesn't work then you can dm me and i'll try my best to help you so let's go so we are done with i think the errors are done every other errors it is third party and then you guys are creating it for yourself okay so if you get any other errors that i've not talked about this i've not talked about in this video then you can dm me on telegram at ios nemesis the the i at the end the sis is the i in between is um is one i use one i use one there so now what are the new additions now when you launch when you when you get to uh 
official Brook Ram Disc Telegram channel. Okay, we've added a bot, so now you can you can register your your ECID or serial number on the website and on Telegram too. So to register, you have to type in forward slash register. Then you copy your ECID or serial number. Let me copy my ECID. I have ECID here. So just click on it once. It's going to copy it. Come here. Make sure you leave a space between the register and then your ECID. Then paste it here. Send it. And then the bot is going to register your ECID for you. It is as simple as that. I'm having connection issues. I'm having connection issues. But that is how you register it. Just send it and then it's going to register. Yes, yes, it's been sent and then the bot has registered it successfully. And then after that, you can bypass. Yes. If it is serial number, just use the same command. But instead of the ECID, paste your serial number and it's going to register it for you. So there are so many features of. Uh, the bot here we have the, the bot is very very smart here so you can report error so if you want to report an error then you can just forward slash error then you type your error make sure that you have more than two words from that error so if i'm having the booting on successful i should type booting on successful here so this when you report this the bot is going to Give you a feedback so if you're having booting issues and can't connect to it make sure that you have the correct drivers like how i showed you guys in the video so it's it's having it's having it, the bot is very very smart here so there are tutorials here you can view the download you can register and most importantly you guys should donate and support the project the project is very expensive it's very very expensive so just Just click on donate and the, the bot is going to um, thank you for asking for a donation link so we'll just open it and you're going to take you to where you're going to donate please donate whatever you donate is is really really much appreciated nothing is very small um, this will help support the project and make bypass free I'll be releasing a, a, a new update very soon after the the release of this video. So <clears throat> that's it, guys. Um, that's it for today. Um, make sure you like, subscribe to this channel. A lot of you are watching my videos. I've posted a video before. A lot of you watched it, but most of you did not subscribe. Please make sure you subscribe to the the channel so that whenever I post a new video you'll be able to see the you'll be the first person to see it thank you and god bless you all bye bye